Okay, problem 9-4. This is an example of a common ion effect. So, meaning what is the effect of the solubility if there is a common ion between the solid and the, and the solvent. Okay? Now, problem 9-4, it was a problem wherein barium iodate is dissolved in water. Problem 9-4, still the same, it's barium iodate, but this time, the solvent is point, uh, 0 to barium nitrate. So, it's no longer, it's no longer water. So, again, problem 9-3, uh, barium iodate is dissolved in water, and problem 9-4, bar, bar, barium iodate is being dissolved in barium nitrate. So, you will notice that there is a common ion. The solid is barium iodate here. And the solution wherein barium iodate is to be dissolved is from an aqueous solution of barium nitrate. So, there is a common ion which is the barium. And the concentration of barium nitrate is 0.02. As we solve uh, 9.3, we found out that the molar solubility of molar solubility of barium iodate, which is dissolved in water, is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. Then, after solving 9.4, we are going to to compare the the amount of molar solubility between barium iodate in water and barium iodate in barium nitrate. So, we're going to look at what is the effect of a common ion. Okay? So, let's proceed to problem 9-4. So, again, we're given barium iodate and it will be dissolved in 0 0.02 molar of barium nitrate. So, a common ion which is barium. So, required molar solubility of barium iodate dissolved in barium nitrate. So, again, it is solid. So, we are going to determine the solubility product constant of barium iodate. So, again, from appendix 2, the PSP of barium iodate is 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9. So, same with, same with uh, nitrate, we are going to have the equation so i just uh, use the other side so again i'll make the equation again <clears throat> solubility of barium nitrate uh sorry barium iodate so you have barium iodate that is to be dissolved in barium nitrate so barium iodate will ionize into barium ion and two moles of iodate ion. So again, uh, you balance the equation. So we will be using again the ice technique. Okay? So you have the initial concentration, the change, and at equilibrium. Okay? So initially, initially, so there will be an initial concentration of the barium because the solvent here, barium iodate, is dissolved in barium nitrate. So, the barium ion has already an initial concentration of 0 0.02 molar. While iodate, none. So, that will be 0. Okay, so that's the difference. In 9.3, the initial concentration of barium ion is 0. Because that is just dissolved in water, same with the iodate. Now, since it is already dissolved in barium nitrate, so there is the initial concentration of the barium ion. Take note that barium nitrate, that's 0 0.02. So, the concentration here of barium is 0 0.02. Why? Because this is barium ion, that one is barium nitrate. You can actually, you can actually convert, for example here, we have 0.02 molar of barium nitrate. Then you can have it in terms of moles. You just have the relationship between 
barium nitrate and the barium ion. So the ratio here, you have one mole, you can have one mole of barium ion for every one mole of barium nitrate. So if this is moles, this one is moles. So per liter, so that is per liter. So everybody, everything here will be per liter. So you can just cancel out this one. So you will have, you will have one mole. So 0 0.02 times one, uh, that will be moles of barium per liter. So still the same, the concentration of barium ion is 0 0.02 because there is only one mole of barium that is found in barium nitrate. Please take note of this one. So it is not at all times that the concentration of the given uh, solvent will be also equal to the concentration of the ion. It depends on the number of moles of the ion that is present in the in the uh, AQ solution. Again, huh? so you have 0 0.02 molar of barium nitrate, or that is moles per liter, times the relationship between the barium and the barium nitrate. That is just 1 is to 1. So 1 mole of barium nitrate is equivalent to 1 mole of barium. So you will have <coughs> 0 0.02 molars, that will be moles per liter, molar of barium ion. Okay? Take note of this one. So that is why we have here 0 0.02 molar of barium ion. Okay? Let's proceed to the change. So again, same with 93. So we do not know the amount of barium that is being removed. So that, that will be negative x. We do not know the amount or the concentration of the barium ion that has been changed. So that will be just x. And the, for the iodate ion, that will be 2x. Because there are two moles of the barium, I mean the iodate ion. Then for the at equilibrium, so all you have to do is just get the sum. Okay, I just uh, put a horizontal line to emphasize. So you just get the sum. So you will have at equilibrium, the concentration of the barium ion will be 0 0.02 plus X. And the concentration of iodate ion is 2X. Okay, so X is unknown. Okay, so I'll erase this one. So from the from the equilibrium constant expression, this is solid. So we have the constant solubility product constant that is PSP based on the equation. That would be equal to the that would be equal to the concentration of the barium ion times the concentration of the iodate ion. That will be squared. Okay. We have the value of the solubility product constant at 25 degrees Celsius from appendix two. That is 1.57 times 10 to the negative nine is equal to the concentration of the barium ion is 0.02 plus x. 0.02 divided by 25. Okay. And the concentration of the iodate ion is 2x. Then you square. Now if you are going to <coughs> look at the equation, you are going to expand this one. This will be 2x squared. You multiply it here, so that will be uh, whatever is the amount you have x squared. Here you will have 4x cubed. So your exponent for x is cubed, and that equation is cubic. Okay, that equation is cubic. Now in this case, we are going to make some assumption. Okay. We are going to assume that this x here, here, is very, very small 
compared than 0 0.02. So, if this is very, very small, if you are going to add it to 0 0.02, it's more or less same as 0 0.02. So, we'll make an assumption that this x is negligible. And we can check that one after the computation. And we will know the value of x and compare it with 0 0.02 if it is considered as negligible. So we will assume that this one is negligible. Okay? That would be very, very small compared than 0 0.02. But do not assume this one as do not assume this one as uh, negligible because you are going to multiply it with two. This one, you can you can assume this one as negligible because you are just going to add it to 0 0.02. So the equation now, if this will be negligible, this becomes 1.7, 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 is equal to, so this is negligible, so this is just 0 0.02. And multiply it with 2x squared, so this becomes 4 x squared. Okay? So, 0 0.02 times 4, that is equal to so this will be 0 0.02 times 4, so that is, of course, 0 0.08 x squared equal to 1.57 times 10 to negative 9. Okay? You take the value of x by getting the square root. So you will have 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by 0 0.08. Okay. So you have 1 point, take the square root, 1.57 exponent 9, negative 9, divided by 0 0.08. And the answer is 4.95 times 10 to the negative 4. So we will check it again. Uh, 7.3. Are we on the right track? 1.57 exponent negative 9 divided by 1.57 exponent negative 9 divided by 0 0.08 equals 1.9625. You get the square root. Square root equals. So that is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. Okay? So since this is equal to x and the concentration of the barium ion is equal also to x, so this one is a concentration of the barium ion. If you are going to determine the concentration of the iodate ion, that is 2x, so you just multiply this one by 2. So since the concentration of the barium ion and for the barium iodate, that is 1, 1, so it is just the same. So therefore, <clears throat> the molar solubility of molar solubility of barium iodate when it is dissolved with barium nitrate will be will be equal to one point. 4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. Okay? So, what happened now to the what happened now to the solubility of barium nitrate? Does it increase or does it decrease if there is a common ion? So, you are going to compare it with the value of barium iodate here. The barium iodate, the, if it is dissolved in water, the molar solubility is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. While if it is dissolved in barium nitrate, the molar solubility is 
1.4. So they are going to draw it. If you have here, if you have here water, and you are going to dissolve barium iodate in water, and if you have here uh, barium nitrate. And you are going to dissolve barium iodate so that you'll be able to see the difference. So, in this case, the molar solubility of barium iodate is here is molar solubility. So, if it is dissolved in water, it is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, so meaning that is moles per liter. While here, it is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar of uh, moles per liter. So you have 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4, that is moles per liter. And this one is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. Which one now is bigger? This one or this one? Okay, of course, this one. So therefore, the molar solubility of barium iodate will decrease by almost, what's the difference? So if you have 7.32 minus 1.4, so there is a difference of 5.9. Now, 5.9 times 10 to the negative 4. So, the solubility of barium iodate will decrease if there is a common ion. So, meaning, there will be less amount of barium iodate will be dissolved if the solvent is barium nitrate or if there is a common ion. But, if it is just water, the solubility is higher. So, therefore, the effect of common ion for solubility, it will decrease, the solubility will decrease if there is a common ion. Okay? So, the question in 9.4, calculate the molar solubility of barium iodate in a solution that is 0.02 is this one. So, the effect is there is a decrease in solubility. That is only 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4. Why? If it is dissolved in water, it is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4. As well as, as well as with the concentration, we will also, we will also uh, compare the concentration of the barium and the iodate ion if uh, it is not dissolved in water. So, in this case, the concentration of, the concentration of Barium ion is, the concentration of the barium ion is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. It also decreases because the concentration of barium ion, if it is dissolved in water, is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4. Uh, oh, you can add. No, no. It will increase. Because there is already an initial uh, initial concentration. So it's actually, sorry for that. So the concentration of barium will be 0.02 plus X. Because there is already an initial concentration of 0 0.02. So you have 0 0.02 plus X. Take note that the value of X is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, it's very small compared than 0.02. So if you are going to add the 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4, approximately it is just also equal to 0 0.02 molar. Okay? Uh, as if there is no effect on the, on the value of x. So, if you're going to determine the concentration of iodate ion, so therefore the concentration of the barium ion increases if there is a common ion because barium is the common ion. So, 
of course, it will increase. So, iodate will be, the concentration of iodate at equilibrium is 2x. So, that will be 2 times, what is x? 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4. And that is equal to 1.4 exponent negative 4 times 2. So that is 2.8 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. So what do you think happens to the concentration of iodine? Does it increase or does it decrease if the if the solvent is not water? So the concentration of iodine if the solvent is water is 7.32 times 10 to the negative 4 times 2 is 1.46 1.46 1 1.46 times 10 to the negative 4 molar this is if dissolved in water so the concentration of iodate increases as well. Okay, from 1.46 times 10 to the negative 4, that is the concentration of that is the concentration of uh, concentration of iodine. Okay. 1.4 times 2 that is again 4 Exponent negative 4 times 2, so 2.8 times 10 to the negative 4. We have 7.32 exponent negative 4 times 2, 1.46. Oh no, that is negative 3. Sorry for that again, this is negative 3. That is why I don't have Libu Gamay because that's not uh, coincide with the theory. So 1.46 times 10 to the negative 3, which one is bigger, of course, is 1 again. So that is, uh, if it is dissolved in water, it has a higher concentration compared than 2.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay? But the answer for 9, for it asks only the molar solubility of barium iodate is this one. If you will be asked with the concentration of the two ions, so you just substitute the value of x from the concentration at equilibrium, not here, at equilibrium. So 0 0.02 plus x for barium, 2 times x for iodine. Okay, so that is problem 9, 4. You have question, you can raise your question during our video conferencing.